Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to transfer data from Creo mechanism to Creo Simulate. And then we will apply this information to mechanism reactions or part reaction. You can see here that I created for you, or for this example, the mechanism. And with this mechanism I like to spin, so in the result will be some reaction in the in the part. So let's start. From my previous tutorials you have learned how to create mechanism and how to specify all necessary connection. You can see here for example that I defined this object with pin connection and I have applied dynamic properties and friction coefficients. For example, for static friction was 0 0.15, for kinematic friction was the 0 0.10, and value for contact radius is 0 0.10.2. Yeah? So if you check the another connection, I can select again at the definition, and you can see here that I specify dynamic properties for all connection everywhere. Yeah? So everything is defined. We have specified materials for this object and the system can calculate with mass and dynamic properties. Let's start with application mechanism. And over here, what is necessary to do? We need to specify the gravity or you can check the gravity. Yeah? So if I select the definition, you can see here which direction is going to magnitude of gravity and you can see here that I specified the magnitude of gravity. You can change it, you can change the directions and confirm OK. Then what we would like to do, I will refresh it, what we would like to do, I like to create a force motor. Yeah? So if I would like to create force motor I can use the information from the ribbon or yeah, over here or you can select from the mechanism tree and over here is the possibility with left mouse button create new force motor. And you can see here that if I would like to spin this first component I will select the rotation axis and system allow to me to specify the torque and in the profile is the possible to specify the value. And you can see here that I have calculated that if I would like to work with Newton millimeters, so I will specify the value 24 Newton meters. Yeah? So transformation. If you would like to check the graph, you can see here that it will be constant value. So first one is defined and we will check how the system will spin the model. If you work with dynamic mechanism, it's really good if you create initial condition. What does it mean? That how the system will calculate where will be the first position. The best practice is if you create the snapshot. Yeah. So you can create a snapshot here yeah, because you know that it's possible to spin this model and you can check if everything works here. Yeah. So I like to start always, for example, from this orientation. You know that it's possible to use the constant and if you select the axis, the system will show you the actual value and you can change it if it is necessary. Yeah. Then if you create a snapshot, you can use this snapshot for initial conditions. So create new initial conditions and you can use the created snapshots. You can specify another value, possibilities and so on. Again, I will show you later in my next tutorials. Stay tuned. If I come from OK, I follow it from top to bottom necessary information and you can see here that another things what is necessary to do is create new analysis. 
I will create new analyses and over here I don't want to spend 10 seconds for the rotating of this model so it's enough if you use only two seconds for example or something less it depends what you want and frame rate 25 it's quite good motor is defined but I don't want to use the position because we are using the dynamic motors yeah and you can see the system recognize this force motor yeah motor one and if I, if you continue with preferences of the analysis you would like to enable gravity and enable friction and right now we need to go to preference tab and you can see here that we can use the current position or we can start to use the the initial conditions so i like to reuse our initial condition what was created and we can run analysis you can see that orientation of the spinning of the mechanism is okay so we can abort this calculation and we can confirm OK. OK, the first orientation was fine. We can create a new force motor. Yeah. And I like to specify, so I don't want to use the surface for the force, but I like to use the torque. So select only rotation axis. System will change the dri driven to torque. And again, you need to specify the value. If I have a specified value, I can check the analysis. Yeah, so if I will select the definition for the analysis and I'd like to check how the system will spin in the another orientation, I will change the motor. So I don't want to use the motor one, but motor two. And right now I will run analysis and we can check if this second motor will orient the mechanism in the another direction. Yeah, so this is only for check. So I will run analysis. The system would like to recreate the data or overwrite data. So yes, you can confirm and overwrite existing data. And you can see that orientation of the force motor 2 is fine. Again, we can abort analysis. And I like to use both motors. I like to reuse the first motor and I like to add the second motor. Yeah. And we would like to use from the start to end. So I like to use the whole time duration. In the final result, you can see here that on if I would like to spin the first motor and second motor in final result has to be that whole mechanism will be spinning over here because the motor 2 is much stronger but in the final the mechanism reaction will be on the connected part and this part I like to analyze with Creo simulate okay so let's continue we can run and check and you can see here that is no necessary wait for two seconds I can use something less because I don't want to spend here for and waiting for calculation yeah so one second will be enough and we can run analyze and reuse existing data If your analysis is finished, you can confirm OK and you can go to the playback and you can try to have a look how it's how it works. Yeah, so you can run and the system will spin with assembly, more components, you can work with spinning, and right now you can see that everything is going like we need. Okay, we would like to use our analysis to in simulation we would like to use it in simulation yes so if you select this function using simulation the system will ask you for the body and the component you can pr 
crows here and coins here in the mechanism tree and you can see the which body you would like to use so for example I'd like to apply this body and I like to use the same component because I like to focus only on that component and I like to calculate all necessary things the system will create all reactions and you can choose what you want to apply to Creo simulate yeah and if you come from OK, the system write all this information to 3D model. So it was easy. And right now, if you save this analysis, you can open the 3D model. Yeah. And if you open this 3D model in the new or separate window, you can go into the application and simulate. System will run the Creo simulate and you can have a look here that is possible to load from mechanism so if you select this function load from mechanism the system allow to you to transfer information from the mechanism to select the 3d model yeah so select what you want or apply everything confirm ok and the system will apply the loads yeah, over here and you can calculate and start work with Creo Simulate. How to create analysis with Creo Simulate? I would like to show you in the nearest tutorials. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.